At this point, the tire service tech finds that the valve stems that come with the wheels will not fit the TPMS sensors and he won't be able to install them. I found out later the Titan 7 valve stems are not meant to be used with TPMS sensors. I think Titan 7 should have mentioned this when I ordered the wheels to avoid the issue during the install. You can see this guy appreciates how light the wheels are. And here is what the wheel looks like wrapped in a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S 265 3518. The hub rings are a very tight fit to the wheel and a mallet was used to get them in place. And sometimes your hand is the mallet.
Using some anti-seize grease makes installing the hub rings a lot easier. Unfortunately, we ran into another problem with the lug nuts that I bought from Titan 7. The size they sent me were 12 by 1.5 and I needed 12 by 1.25. On the website, there isn't even an option to pick a size. You can only choose the car you will use them on and the color. I wasn't happy when we had to use the lug nuts from my old wheels, which isn't recommended because they don't seat correctly. The new wheels need a 60 degree lug nut. So I have to use the old ones until I get the correct replacements. You can see here that the service techs were very careful in tightening them down by hand first, then with a torque wrench instead of using a power tool which could have damaged the wheel. Here's what the wheels look like before the center caps go on. Here they are trying to push the center caps in. They fit really tight and just a little lube was needed to get them to fit flush with the wheel. Once the center caps were installed, the car came down off the lift. Here you can see I'm putting the 19 inch wheels back in the car. I was able to fit all four 19 inch wheels in the car with the back seats down. After about 90 minutes, the car is ready to drive home. These new forged wheels from Titan 7 look great on the car, but there is a problem. Now there is too much wheel gap. I'm going to have to get some lowering springs to bring the car down at least a half an inch. If you have a suggestion of what brand lowering springs to use, leave it in the comments below. I have ordered the replacement lug nuts and will do a follow-up video when they are installed. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to know when new car story videos are posted. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.